Welcome back to Get Sticky TV, and today we have Young and Ace once again arrested on multiple weapon charges. I gave you guys the story probably like a few months ago, back uh, in I think October or November. Uh, he was locked up for having multiple weapons. Now he's been rearrested for having multiple weapons. Here's some of that. He was just set up on his bail. Here's his bail review. Um, in regard to Keonta Bullard, he should have already been pulled and sent back. Mr. Stripling was here on his behalf earlier and he made an appearance for the purposes of bond. I do find probable cause for the charge of possession of a firearm or ammunition by a convicted Florida felon. I'll appoint the public defender's office, pass the case to circuit court on May the 8th. Bond is set at 150,003. Conditions of bond are no contact with any co-defendants, no contact with any witnesses, and no contact with any gang members. All right. So that was on Mr. Bullard. If I could also have Malkis Warthen. All right, Mr. Warthen, at this time, you do not have an offer from the state attorney's office, so I'm going to pass your case as well. Your case will appear in my regular division on May the 1st at 930 in courtroom 309. That'll be for an arraignment. I do find probable cause for the charge of driving with a suspended license. Sir, can you afford to hire an attorney to represent you? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'll show that you're solvent by admission. I'll set your bond at 1503. And again, I'll see you in court on May the 1st. Thank you, sir. As the story goes, Young and Ace was pulled over around 8.30 p.m. in Jacksonville Beach before being arrested and booked into Duval County Jail. At the time of the traffic stop, Young and Ace, his driver, failed to yield to a four-way stop. When police searched the vehicle, seven loaded firearms were found in a total of six. Six people were in the car with the officers noted that the driver and the passenger were documented gang members. While the vehicle was a rental, his driver, Marquise Wortha, 24, was arrested for driving while his license was invalid. Of the seven firearms, officers said that Bullet had constructive possession of three handguns, including one semi-automatic gun that was loaded with an armed pistol bullets. One officer said that they saw a black rifle in plain sight of you on the floorboard, and a blue bag in a second row on the floorboard was also seen by the by police. He said they looked it looked like a Draco pistol a black handgun within reach and he had a in the back seat of the mid passenger seat there was another gun police said that the possession of the firearms was mainly by young and ace one of the semi-automatic guns was also loaded he had multiple firearms at this time young and ace is well known for surviving eight shots in 2018 his brother and two other men died in the sh in the drive-by shooting. Right now, JSO is searching for whoever fired the shots that killed three teenagers and sent a fourth to the hospital. This was in a drive-by near the busy town center area and the UNF campus. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. JSO says the shooting was not a random act and that one of the victims and the survivor are gang members. Action News Jack's Kevin Clark is live near Town Center Parkway in 295 where the shooting took place last night. Kevin, police believe there were multiple witnesses in the area at the time of the shooting. And they're imploring any of those witnesses to come forward if they have any information about the suspect or suspects. In the meantime, you can see a First Coast Crime Stopper sign has been put up here by the scene. Keontae Bullard, known as Young Ean Ace, is the sole survivor of a quadruple shooting not far from the St. John's Town Center. His three teenage friends, Trayvon Bullard, Royal Devon Smith Jr., and Jacoby Deshad Grover were killed. Ace's friends spoke with Action News Jax anonymously. Yeah, they killed three people, but one of them still alive, so where would they come back from? 
Police say the shooter or shooters pulled up in a car next to the victims at the 295 and Town Center Parkway stoplight before opening fire. Last night, we showed you one side of the Chevy sedan full of bullet holes. This is video from the survivor's Instagram just hours before the attack. Action News Jack's lawn safety expert Dale Carson tells me this activity on social media allows groups to more easily target each other. They post stuff. On the following year, after he performed at a rap concert, his group was ambushed and another man was killed. According to reports, he's been living in Houston for the past few years. He's associated with the Robinson family and the alleged fouling gang, drug gang ATK. Another alleged gang member of ATK brother, Hakeem Robinson, known as rapper KSOO Abdul Robinson Jr., is awaiting trial for a murder case. The father of Abdul Robinson is the alleged leader of the ATK, has pleaded guilty to being an accessory and agreed to testify against his own son. Well, once you look deep into a lot of what's going on, you'll notice that young and ace, he has a lot of beef in the real streets of Jacksonville. He doesn't go anywhere without weapons. This is the second time in the last seven months he was arrested with multiple firearms, which was with Dracos, short rifles, long rifles, multiple. So it seems that young and ace, man, he must be beefing really hard. So I'll keep you guys updated because this just happened on Monday. Thanks for checking out It Gets Sticky TV. Like, subscribe to the channel. Like, subscribe.